The Senate Blue Ribbon Committee's probe into the 60 million peso ad contract between the Department of Tourism and BTAG Media. Former Tourism Secretary Wanda Tulfoteo and her brother Ben of BTAG deny any wrongdoing. Ben Los Baños has the story. In front of the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee, former Tourism Secretary Wanda Teo stood by her word that she was not aware that the 120 million peso ad placement that the DOT awarded to PTV4 will be given to her brother Ben Tulfo Show Kilos Pronto. But the senators were not convinced. <laughs> May nagsabi sa akin yung Kilos Pronto, kapatid ko pala yan eh. Wala pong nagsabi sa akin na Kilos Pronto is my brother. Wala po from the very start. I said, I have, I don't know that Kilos Pronto because all I know, kasi po hindi po ako na ng TV, I'm a very busy person. I've been traveling a lot. Ang alam ko po, si Ben Tulfo, Erwin Tulfo, and Rafi Tulfo were at TV5. Yung uh, T3 po. Did you know that he was at P PDB4? Hindi ko po alam. Later on ko na po alam na pumutok na po yung issue. Tourism Undersecretary Kat De Castro heads the Bids and Awards Committee also said she did not know Ben Tulfo was behind Bitag Media Unlimited which produced a program Kilos Pronto. At what point during this whole episode na na-realize mo na si Mr. Ben Tulfo ang may-ari nung Bitag? Ito na lang po nung May nang pinag-uusapan na po. Um, sigurado kayo dyan. Senator Gordon also questioned the placement of the ads on Kilos Pronto, which has low TV ratings. Meanwhile, different figures came out as to how much Bitag Media earned from the 120 million peso tourism ads. The commission on audit said the Tulfos got around 89 million pesos, while the rest of the 120 million pesos went to PTV4 management. PTV4, meanwhile, claimed that they paid 75 million pesos to Bitag Media, while the TV network earned more than 19 million pesos from the ads. Executives said they do not see any issue of conflict of interest in the said DOT ad placement. At the time, uh, we were not thinking of it in those terms dahil po ang, uh, ang uh, nasa pag-iisip po namin dahil kailangan, kailangan po ng, uh, ng PTV, ng revenue because yun po ang, uh, yun po ang, uh, yun po talaga ang, uh, we are very dependent on the revenue that we earn. Ben Tulfo agrees. Wala po kaming ugnayan sa kapatid kong katabi ko ngayon si Juan Dateo. Hindi po ako matok sa kalang pintuan, humingi ng pabor, humingi ng advertisement or commercial. Hindi po ako pumunta sa kalang tanggapan, hindi ko alam kung saan po ang DOT. May kanya-kanya ho kaming buhay. Answering the train of thought na sabi niyo kanina, imposible na magkakapatid kahit na ho sa kanya. Ang relasyon ho namin, hindi ho close. FYI. During the hearing, the expected verbal fireworks came. First, it was Senator Antonio Trellanes against Ben Tulfo. Magkano ang total na nareceive mo? Your Honor, meron ho kaming copy of my check and we have to account everything kung magkano po binayad sa amin. So offhand, I don't have the record, but we can present that maybe in the court of law. Ito na. Panayang iwas na. Pero doon sa radio program eh, kita tapang eh. Pero ngayon, nabibilaukan yung katotohanan. Ang hirap lumabas ano, Mr. Ben Tulfo. I look at you straight in the aisle, I'm still not finished. Well, anyway, ganito yan. So, alam nyo dito, as described, so swak na swak. Kung maga, pasok na pasok ka, bitag. Dito sa bitag. Di ba, Mr. Tulfo? Then the senator took on Erwin Tulfo. Pinipilit mo na may plunder pa. Ipatunayan mo muna na may plunder, bossing, okay? Ngayon, it's not for you to decide, it's the court to decide, sir. All right? In the crime uh, of plunder, as I uh, recited earlier, eh ano, in connivance with members of his family, relatives by affinity or consanguinity. Uh, anyway, yan naman yung kaso ang ikakaharap nyo eh. Hindi naman kami yung matras at saka hindi ko kasi kami mahilig gumawa-gawa ng mga kwento, Mr. Chair. Former Secretary Teo meanwhile believes that Bitag Media should not return the money they earn from the tourism ad placement. Pero yung personal... Na tingin nyo po ay dapat isa uli yung pera? Hindi. Hindi rin po. I'm disappointed to hear that. Natapos na po kasi yung kontrata. And uh, kung minsan nagasto na po yung pera, you mean to say, saan po kukunin yung pera? Pambaya. Teo recalled that she had discussions before with her brother Ben on the possible return of money. But she said in the end, it would be Ben who will decide. Ben meanwhile refuses to return the money. 
Why would I be returning a money where we have faithfully delivered and then by way of contract we aired all the uh, the documents needed, kasama pati yung tape on air, we fulfilled. So now, returning the money is tantamount to saying that we did something illegal. This is the first and last hearing of Senate on the said ad placement controversy, but there will be hearings on the other alleged irregularities under Teo's administration at the DOT. Reporting for News 5, Mayan Los Baños, we are One News.